and hello, it's me Susanna and today we're going to have a chat with Sumit Kaul who's right now in Glasgow. I'm super excited to chat with him because I want to know how was the flight, how was it to actually travel in the COVID coronavirus times. I want to know how he was traveling, I want to know how he was uh, experiencing the whole trip and how it is to be. Akil is also here because he wants to see him. Great. See, he starts waiting for Sumit Kaul. Are, come here, come here, now he's here. Hello. Namaskar, sir. Hello. Hello. Namaskar, namaskar. You have reached there. You have Kamal it. We have done nothing. We are with you. Kamal is with us. Kamal is with us. Yes, that's the same thing. This is not the right thing. We are doing everything. Yes, everything good, safe. All good, all good, all good. Locked up. Locked up, yeah. Locked up, you are in the middle of it. You will be able to go to the middle of it. So actually, it was a little bit of a problem. But now, it's just in the middle of it. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's just in the middle of it. 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 And what about vegetarian food? He's asking all of my questions. Yeah, this is not... No, no, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Akil is the new host. Somehow they are managing it. I think a lot. Yeah, our team are a lot of vegetarian. Team are a lot of vegetarian. Okay, good, good. So, करने में. करने में. Hi, Susan. Hello. Hi. Hi. One second. I just put the headset in. Okay. Can you hear me? Can I hear you? Yes. Yeah. Looking lovely as always. Lovely as always. Hi, it was just raining and I just told uh, everybody who joined, oh God, I hope it's not going to rain into my broadcast. Very heavy rain, uh, but now it's fine and I'm very happy to see you. And this is exciting because this is the first time I'm the host. I'm not the, I'm the interviewer and not the interviewee and Akil just took two questions ahead, but uh, that was fun. That was actually not too bad. And I wanted no, to I know. No, I can always so, elaborate on it. Yeah, because I want to know uh, when you got the offer, was it an immediate yes to fly to Glasgow or did you have to think about it? So, uh, without actually, uh, without actually uh, delving too much... You can't talk about the project. project. I don't want to... No. So I, I don't want to talk about the project. I just want about the technicalities. That uh, it, 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 it took me a little while. I took a little while. Uh, hmm. Because when it uh, when the offer came to me, um, and they, and they were very clear that they are not going to be shooting in India, they are going to be shooting in Scotland and Glasgow, and that uh, in fact I I believe I am told that there is no other movie around the world that is being shot uh, in in the way that that this film is being shot that is in different locations and stuff like that. I think. Um, if I'm not mistaken, Mission Impossible is being shot here, but they are just doing it on a chroma floor. Oh wow! So, okay. uh, so I think this is probably. So the... you didn't think it was a joke, no? I, like <laughs> if somebody would call me right now and say you want to fly to uh, Japan and shoot a movie, I would say, uh, yeah, who's joking? So I think I seriously would. Didn't, first thing is a joke. They didn't mention. They didn't mention initially when they were planning to shoot. So first they just called and they said, you know, we are, there's this movie happening. And uh, we need you to test for it. Sorry, we don't even need you to no, test we for it. To to test. Uh, oh, we wow. just need you to give give uh, a small little introduction, and the director wants to see. And uh, on the basis of it, uh, we'll just take a call. And so uh, I gave that introduction, and within two days, they told me that you're on. And now we wow. just need to know that uh, whether you're on board or not. And they said that okay. we are planning to uh, shoot in. Um, in August. August. Uh, so I'm like, now? This August? Now? Immediately? So they're like, yeah, that's the plan. Yeah. And uh, okay. so my first question was that, no, what's the hurry? Can't we like do it after a few months? <laughs> what's uh, the hurry? Is <laughs> I'm like, can we do it after a few months? You know, I mean, why take such a big risk and chance and things like that? So, yeah. uh, so uh, well, uh, so I think uh, the, some, some aspects were of that they they just had managed to get the dates of the stars. They uh, they they had some advantages coming in from the UK government. 
So okay, good. Yeah, that is always a given with UK. UK is very welcoming to uh, Bollywood. Yeah. I shot projects there, and they always like open the doors for everybody who comes from here for shooting. So. I can so, yeah, understand so, so, so when you were packing, they, was there any was there any requirement for packing? Was it like you 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 can only take one suitcase, or you're not allowed to take certain things, or it's like how were you packing? Because I, I would go crazy. The weight limit was I think about 30 kgs per person, uh, and apart mm. from that, you could you could carry a backpack if you wanted. So. Um, I'm sure for women that wouldn't be enough. Even for me, I felt it wasn't enough because one was going for a period of two months, and the weather out here is it's, it's cooler than than it is in in Mumbai. And there are days when yeah. it's, it's, you know it's, it's, the forecast is that it's going to really get cool. So so you need to you needed to have some some you know warm jacket. And that's heavy. Jacket. That's heavy. Yeah, that stuff is heavy, man. I left everything in Germany warm. this time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Because that stuff is really heavy. Like I think one of my jackets is just like two and a half four kgs alone. There you go. So, so. Yeah. So uh, yeah. Mm. So, so I, when you were, um, I, then how 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 did you get to the airport? So obviously, first what we had to do was two days just before the flight. The, it was clear that everyone needed to go through a COVID test in Mumbai. Okay. So obviously, we did our visa formalities almost about two and a half three weeks before that. Uh, okay. Then, then just two days before that, we did a COVID test and uh, which uh, one? The the swab wala one? The or? swab, yeah, the swab test. Okay. Yeah, which is the inside the mouth completely, and they and it goes up the nostril, both the nostrils and stuff. So when we when we yeah, it's a, it, 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 I mean it's not painful, but it's a little uncomfortable. It's, you know. It's, yeah. So. Um, yeah. Yeah. So, Then the, when we reached the airport, then we were given that little uh, sheet which said that you're negative, so you're fine to go. And um, yeah, that that that. So uh, uh, I uh, fortunately I had my my driver come in and drive me because I was I was preferring not to take the cab. Hmm. So, yeah. yeah. The notification right now from Uber. We have installed safety screens on all our taxis. I'm sure they must. So they're trying the, people the to the come. Day, yeah. It's something that is being very regularly used by different people. The the yeah. the level of risk obviously increases. So I didn't want to take that chance now that I was traveling for two months. So. So. On one side, you want to like support the economy. On the other side, you are too scared to actually do it. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, so I mean, I had two so things at the end of the day. It depends on whether you have the option or not, right? So, uh, yeah, for a lot of people, cool. if they don't have the option of of a, of a private car or a driver available, then 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 it's important that you you use that. So, I'm sure mm. I it, just because I'm not using it, I'm I'm not sure it will do too much of a dent to their business. I was anyways not. I don't know. Major, yeah, major but if more people think like this, so. Uh, And then at the airport, I heard airport is also like you have to the social distancing. And I'm used to uh, India is always like lots of people, lots of chaos, lots of noise. And I heard now when you go to the airport, it's a little bit spooky because it's so big and there are less people. Did you so, yeah, get like I mean, a different I mean, feeling, yeah, yeah. different vibe? Yeah. So it is true that not you don't have too many people. I mean, when especially when you uh, when I cross the. the Finally, the uh, security and immigration. There was just nobody there. It was just empty. Wow. See, that that little space. I don't know if you remember inside the international airport yeah. where you go to a different place. Yeah. There was nobody. Absolutely yeah. nobody out there. So uh, so obviously, I I mean, uh, anyways, within domestic travel also it's limited, and international travel is not really happening. This also wasn't a, no, not at all. a normal flight, yeah. right? It was a chartered flight. Yeah. So they had chartered it only for this group of people. He was. Who were traveling for okay. a particular um, uh, activity? Purpose. Yeah, purpose. Okay. Wow. And then landing. I mean, the travel must have been fine. You know, you were on the plane, and uh, the uh, Adil Hussain the shared a selfie with the face mask. Was a little bumpy. No, we had okay. this. Uh, so they had given the mask from the company. They've given a 
you know that the face shield, shield. they've given yeah, gloves I mean, we all look like star trekkies yeah star trekkies yeah, they all look like they, they, star they, trek they provided us with these uh, watches which kind of keep a track of our blood pressure of our pulse of our uh, uh, temperature stuff like that so stuff like that yeah so, so the, the company has been good they've been very particular about things they had ensured that um, within the flight of course uh, uh, people were not sitting together so you were uh, you had between every 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 two people there was at least at least one seat different wherever they were able to do they were keeping you know people in one seat then one row they were keeping empty in the next row as much as they could so um you said bumpy the first couple of hours when we were leaving from mumbai it was quite bumpy then after that it was pretty smooth sailing the landing was also pretty good because of turbulence or what yeah probably but then i land because and i I, re- i realized this very unfortunate incident with the other air india flight that came to dubai and i was like oh my goodness you know yeah see but that was a landing on a on a tableau tableau landing you know that's always a little dicey and uh, I don't know how the how the pilot knew to disengage the engines like he couldn't abort the landing and how did he know to do that at that moment I don't know so I was reading somewhere that uh, apparently there was some I don't know the truth to this but I read somewhere that there was a landing gear failure landing gear yeah yeah and, there, uh, there must have been a landing gear failure but why didn't he abort the landing you know that is the one question i'm having and he disengaged the engine so they didn't have so much thrust so when they were landing he saved a lot of people because the engines were not yeah so i guess that's on. Just, that's just training right i guess that's the kind of training that they are given yeah he air force pilot no yeah yeah so i mm. i mean hats off hats off really i i pray for his soul uh he he truly he truly sacrificed his life to save a lot of people so i kind yeah, of bowed out to him I mean they always say a flight is more safe than anything else and I truly believe that because I was on one of these Kolkata to Mumbai flights where I was bouncing around like a ball inside I felt like I'm I'm like flying around the air <laughs> that was monsoon time and I was like why isn't the plane breaking I mean you can read as much as you want to about how the capabilities are of planes that the actual the wings can go up to here and nothing happens but uh, experiencing it or reading about it is something different <laughs> yeah 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 no no it can be very <laughs> scary i'm telling you that that little turbulence that we had the fact yeah. that it was just not stopping for the for such a long time i was like my goodness yeah. what is going on but then yeah. uh, you know we i mean most, i mean if you fly to south Indian africa pilots, you have it pilots. yeah the south Are africa route if you go to south africa it is only like that You fly to South Africa and you come back from South Africa you constantly just do this on the plane. Oh, It's wow. a constant turbulence. It's constantly going like this. Wow. Yeah. Uh, I didn't know that. And after that I was like, yeah, it was very uncomfortable. Yeah. It's like uh, How have you been? Have you been? Fine, fine. Re- enjoying the rains. I know a lot of people are suffering but uh, yeah. <laughs> it is was needed as well unfortunately yeah. all decided to come at once you know the rain decided now we have to descend upon mumbai in one go and they gave a warning it will start again from 12 to 15 okay. they expecting another and then my mom sends me these videos of people puddling around and being in the kitchen with water and she's like ah it's like i'm fine <laughs> <laughs> my area is fine i'm fine there's nothing going on and they are worried about us about us being here with covid-19 and i am worrying about being there in germany because germans there are some germans who decide this is all a conspiracy theory <laughs> there is no covid-19 and they go and they demonstrate 17000 people in berlin alone went on the streets the last sunday wow. to demonstrate against wearing masks and against the restrictions that have come and i'm like i don't want to go to germany because their cases will go up so my my parents are worried about us and we are worried about them so but i think i i was told that uh, mumbai uh, uh, i heard that i think they yesterday yesterday the or yesterday or day before i think we ended up having the highest cases uh, uh per day cases in recent possible history. possible because uh, looking at it is not going to help you know i'm i'm trying to like be informed but not being over informed yeah, yeah. because 
just looking at the numbers, my dad is also so many are in fact, I said, yeah, but you also have to look at the ratio, how many have recovered and you have to look at the ratio, how many uh, unfortunately passed away because Germany had 200,000 cases and 20,000 deaths. So our ratio is, uh, is, you have to look at that as well. Then you have to look at the size of the country. I keep on saying, just imagine how big this is. Germany has 80 million and people. And how densely populated. How many we are having. Populated. Yeah, everybody sits on top of each other. So now you, the third day uh, in a yeah, hotel in so Glasgow. Actually, so we, we started off, so when we we landed here, we were taken to the hotel and uh, I came in the room, a couple of things, one of the rooms are really small. <laughs> Yeah, I remember my UK stay. It's like I'm you're falling out of the bed and you're hitting the wall. Yeah, I, really I, yeah. And the second thing I realized was I think uh, they've ended up putting us up in one of those. Um, I, it seems more like the you know the overnight kind of uh, hotel, wherein somebody mm. comes into uh, for a meeting tomorrow, so you just hop in with a small little suitcase and. All you need to do is a place to hang your little suit. So, yeah, I had one like that. It was a western when we were shooting for the accidental prime minister, uh, and we were in Bradford. And it, it was a nice hotel. Everything was fine, but you were going really. You were literally walking into the room, and the room was and like the room was over. Yeah. Like you walk in and it's done. That's it. So, so this, and when this you're not shooting, have a wardrobe. Oh yeah, I had like this much. Yeah, okay. So, I, I came with this I, massive bag, you know, a lot of clothes and, and I'm like, where am I going to keep my stuff? I'm not going to live oh out of a suitcase for so much. So, oh so they, had, they had some they little, had, tiny they little pull-out drawers, so I kind of stuffed some stuff there. Then in the open, they have kept some little hanging space, so I've put up my jacket. Oh, no. Yeah, it's a very crowded bag. Jugaad system. Jugaad is also there, right? We figured it out. Maybe they got a good deal on it. They must have gotten a good deal on it. Possible, possible, possible. And also, I think, uh, you know, I, uh, at this point of time, you want you want to be able to collaborate with, with a hotel that is willing to uh, uh, commit to those two months, you know. Uh, it's, a, it's a very dicey process, right? You have 110 people flying from India to Glass. Even if one person happens to get infected, it, the whole thing gets quarantined and like at this point of time because uh, we had some, the, the inspection inspectors come in and they kind of uh, enforce that you know even within the parameters of the hotel is not enough, you need to be inside your room. Now the moment you're doing that, now uh, you need to be serviced in the room, so you need a, you need a large team that is doing that, right? Constantly, okay. you have three to four meals in a day. You have yeah, bedding; yeah, they yeah. need Everything. to be changed. Towels need to be replaced. Um, so the people who come to your room or whatever, they also wear face masks yeah, yeah, and gloves. Yeah, they all covered. They have their gloves on. They have the covers. So, uh, yeah. So. so how much is now that you're confined to a room? How much is it helping you uh, with your meditation, Isha Kriya, Sadhguru? Is it helping? listening to his darshan and getting a little bit of a like a because if you're only in one room yeah so I was, that uh, is I think taxing I, was, uh, I, I, I think I think I, uh, I think somehow I feel that the, the whole idea of being engaged is more a mental thing than 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 uh, physical I mean you can be within a room and feel very liberated and you can be out in the open and still be engaged so, um, yeah, yeah. I think what the, what has happened with the lockdown for a lot of people, I know what has happened with me, is that I, I, I definitely struggled with being caged mentally. Uh, you know, the, I was, I was, I mean, after all, if I really wanted to see the positive of it, of it I was, I was with my family, I was safe, I was healthy, I was, I was living in a nice, nice little complex. Um, food was taken care of because you know everything was being delivered, but yet I was just feeling just little, you know, curving within myself that oh God, why I can't go out? Why can't I go out? You know, it's, so it's, it's a very mental mm -hmm. thing. I think that's what's happening here as well. Uh, you know, I'm just I feel like the the moment somebody has told you you can't go out of the room, you just want to do that, right? Uh, uh, but having said that. Don't I don't know what it is. There is something about the 
of energy either of physical room this place or whatever it is i've been having some really nice meditations so you know um, um, the the idea, the idea of most meditative processes are that you want to get to a point where your body mind starts to become uh, moves towards stillness hmm. where there does not where there's not ideally no but uh, you move towards limiting and least becoming less and less activity whether it be physically mm. moving fidgeting <laughs> uh, mind wise thought wise you know so um getting to that point seems to see, is 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 a little easier actually so i'm a little surprised i don't know what it is either 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 one is a little more relaxed because you know when you're at home there are a lot of other responsibilities You uh, are you only uh, there. There's nobody yeah. else. Yeah. None that you have to. So I think that rather than being in a room, I think the fact that I'm I'm not right now. I don't have anybody else to respond to. See, I just need to take care of myself. Mm-hmm. So that mm-hmm. kind of has relaxed me, and my I'm enjoying my meditations actually. And and I actually through this little talk, I would I would advise and suggest everyone that that this is a great time to do it. Right? I mean. you have the time you don't have no one has any excuse anymore uh, <laughs> you know everyone if the moment somebody tells you that you know uh, it's important that uh, apart from your uh, uh, physical aspirations your mental aspirations it's important that you invest a little bit of time towards uh, exploring and evolving spiritually so yeah the, um, the... I started this in February, and I've been telling it in other interviews as well. I started in February because of my uncle passing away and me reacting to it with panic attacks in the night while waking up with panic attacks. So that was the time when I discovered meditation and went down that path. And then when COVID nineteen happened, then I did the engineering online. Online. You the did engineering work. Yes, online. You haven't told me so, this before. Yeah, so Akil and me, we both have done the inner engineering course, oh, and nice. uh, yeah, it's uh, amazing how much that has changed. So I took this whole opportunity, weird opportunity, but I took it as an opportunity no, to just go inwards. No, it and it is uh, so when people ask me, how can you still smile, and why are you glowing, and why are you looking the way you look? I said, yeah, because I went in the other direction. This is the side effect of it. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it is, it is helping tremendously. Yeah, and every morning when I fall out of bed, or I get up late, but then the first thing I do is yoga. First is going into Om, and first is going into chanting, and first is going into stretching, and then the day starts with breakfast. So, the whole uh, system has changed. Yeah, Akhil yeah, is yeah. doing it also in the night, and when he can't sleep, when he's also sitting and meditating, and when he's doing it now at six o'clock. So it's the whole uh, lifestyle has changed. It does. It does. Yeah. It does. Mm. So I'm. I'm Plus, glad. The, I'm really that's happy that's why the vegetarian question came because uh, <laughs> that has also automatically happened. The only thing I can't do without is coffee. I know that is the. So you've thing. turned vegetarian? Is that what you think? For the time being, yes. Right wow. now, yeah. I I don't want to announce anything because if I'm going to Germany, my parents and my mom is cooking. I don't know what will happen. I just take it day by day. Fair enough. But as of now, it's been like. Weeks without it just happened. We can't get it anymore, and then you suddenly you don't feel like it anymore. So it was like, nah, no, you don't want to order. Just imagine, huh? Just imagine, just, imagine, just actually looking at yourself, say about a year and a half back, a year and a half back, and thinking, thinking if you were talking. Oh, I was like, why didn't I? Huh? I was like, why didn't I have these kinds of tools when a shock happened? I think Isha Kriya would have helped me tremendously <laughs> with the lines and with the ah, going crazy yeah, like that. I yeah, think it yeah. would have helped me. And I remember you were talking to me about it on the plane when we were flying back to Ahmedabad. And at that time, I wasn't ready. I guess. Yeah, I think it's just. I, it's, at the end of the day, it it happens to us rather than we going for it, right? Because uh, the day when you really. Need it and want it, and you look for it. You will find it. You will find it. You know. So I mean, I listened to his uh, online uh, uh, talks a lot before as well. Akhil sent me this, and Akhil sent me that, and then 
especially with these panic attacks, I didn't know what to do. And then Isha Kriya came and that really helped me because I thought I'm going mental and I didn't want to go for tablets or anything because it was just a chemical thing on top of a wound that you have from no, I'm, 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 I'm really glad passing you're talking away. about this and I found this in this little chat. I would like to suggest to everybody that, you know, even if you don't want to commit to a a full-fledged meditative program, Isha Kriya, which is available online, is, is itself a very, very good tool. Uh, I mean, it's, yeah, it's or a, anybody, anybody can sit down and do seven times ah, seven times ooh, and seven times hmm. There is nothing behind it except that your energy will flow more freely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm glad. No, I, I yeah. can see you're, you're glowing. You're looking yeah, different. You're looking far better, met much better, more relaxed. Uh, yeah, this is just a side effect that happens, I guess. It's, yeah. it's nothing that <laughs> it's just happening. So, hey, th- th- we got so many comments and so many hi to Justin yeah. and hi and oh, uh, congratulations for an en- engineer course. Yeah, thank you. Namaste, sir. There was um, Aki who wrote that it's, uh, you're looking very good, sir. And that's true. Jignesh Joshi. I like this hair. He's also saying hello. Namaste, sir. <laughs> yeah. That's so nice. Oh, Shalini is here. Wow. Shalini is here. Oh, 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 Shalini is here. I have, I have some, some actor friends of mine as well. That's nice. That's nice. That's nice. That's nice. So, what will happen with this chat is I will upload it on my YouTube channel. For people who want to watch it there uh, because I will edit it a little bit and then I will put like little funny animations here and there and put some music behind it and so I'm also putting here on Instagram Insta also. yeah I'm putting Insta. it here on Insta I'm putting it on Insta what I don't understand is that the comments will be gone and I feel find this a little sad this is a change that I'm not too happy with, with if Instagram you put it on Instagram. Insta then the comments will be gone yes this is a new thing like the new thing that you can't, you're not putting it for 24 hours with the comments. It has become a permanent post without comments. Oh. So when I say hi to Malika, for example, or to Shubash or whoever is uh, online, their comments and their questions are not there. Oh, well, that's a pity. And that's a little sad. Yeah, it is a bit sad. Veena Vaidu says, your memories about Chakravarti and Ashok Samrat. Yeah, you want to share one? So we had this uh, Any memories? little. Uh, uh, I remember the, it was our first trip when we were going to what, Jaipur or what I don't know where it was. Where, Jaisalmer uh, and uh, Jaisalmer. Jodhpur. Jaisalmer, where we the market was. We were was traveling shot. by flight, I think. And I remember yeah. somebody spoke with you. I think the the at uh, the ticket uh, counter. Yes, counter yes, counter. yes. And I was talking. Yeah. <laughs> that and, she, yeah. and she and and uh, and she she started speaking to you in English or something. I don't know. And then you spoke back in Hindi. Is that, is that what happened? Yeah, without realizing it. Yeah, yeah. And then it was your turn. Huh. And then she's asking me as well. I mean, are you Indian? <laughs> and he's like, I will never forget. Sumit was so shocked. I looked at his face and he was like, what the heck? And he's like, I'm roaming around with you and people think I'm a Ferran. Yeah, kya ho raha hai? <laughs> that was really fun. That was a fun moment. That was a fun moment. Yeah. Or our coffee nights, you know, me go, taking everybody's cup and making coffee in the yeah. middle of the night when we had the night shoots for a couple of hours. Yeah, that was that a good, 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 good experience. I had a good time. I, I, I have some good, very good memories of that show. And uh, and it's. And I think I, this was one of your best characters. I think this was definitely. one of your best characters. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, because definitely. you were everything in that. You were handsome and you were slightly foolish. And you could look dumb, and you look you look great, and everything together, you know. Yeah, yeah, it's like yeah. one time you're the handsome hero, and then the next moment you are like uh, Mama's boy who doesn't know yeah. who Aage ka hai. Yeah. It was amazing. Yeah. It was really well done. I mean, they had layered writing in that yeah, yeah, television. Yeah. I think I think uh, that's what I feel. You know, I think television, uh, good television, is really about good writing because uh, mm-hmm. so. So if you if you if you and, and I think that show was really well written, and we I think we were really, we were really fortunate to be part of that show in that in that sense. So they just wrapped it too fast. Yeah, it's unfortunate. Yeah, yeah. but I guess now they're doing a leap. Now they're doing a leap with Aladdin. 
uh, the other show of uh, Siddharth, and uh, the fans are already saying they're not going to watch it without him. I mean, oh. this is the second the second foolishness that they're doing. Oh, they're doing a leap. I didn't know this. Just, yeah, a leap, or they're replacing him. I see it online. I saw it in posts that people are uh, upset about it that they want to like uh, replace him, uh-huh. take him out, and I don't know what's going on. Hmm. So, any more questions here for Sumit? Yeah, any more questions? Alam Nishat says it was really sad that the show wrapped up. Yeah, we were. Yeah. Hey, Raj Kumar, Justin. <laughs> There's always an end and a beginning. Yeah, that is there. You know, I mean, but it was abrupt. It was abrupt. It was a little fast. Yeah, unfortunate. Second I'll... season, yeah, but we won't be there because we are both dead. Yeah. So if there's a second season, if there's ever a second season, it will be with no I actors. I think the second season, know. anyways, happened in many ways when the leap happened. So yeah, I know. Um, in that sense, but that, I mean, but I would uh, it will be lovely to work with you again whenever the opportunity arises. It will be always a pleasure. Yeah, hopefully not as your mom again. <laughs> yeah, open no, I don't mind it. <laughs> no, I don't mind it. It's it's okay. I'm coming. I have the, there's acceptance now. What to do? Yeah. But it was like uh, no. It took me also a while actually to uh, when I was offered uh, Nazar as the father of the protagonist. Um, hmm. It took me a little while to um, you know uh, kind of just absorb the fact that. That, that they they are looking at me as a father of of a, maybe around twenty year old, twenty two year old or whatever. Girl. So see, Akhil went through this in his forties, or he was like mid thirties when they were casting him for characters of a sixty year old. Yeah. And he was also saying, "What what is this?" Yeah. Yeah. So, I don't know. Actually, somebody asked me my YouTube channel. The link is in the bio, and it is my name. Very easy. <laughs> nice. Yes, I'm really looking forward. So, yeah, yeah. Uh, what were we talking about? Uh, Ashok memories and working together. Ah, uh, yeah. We last time speaking something. Ah, like, huh, so so you know, getting getting cast as the father and all. But I think uh, I was I was fortunate that uh, again, Nazar was one of those kind of shows, you know, where the writing was really good to me, and uh, you know where. Where this guy was so much more than just somebody's father, like like um, uh, your character in a show, right? Like she was yes, she was the mother, but she was so much more than just the mother. So of, yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. So so if if that's it's, the kind it, of character, it depends it is, on the writer. Yeah, yeah. Then it doesn't if matter. If it's just not like uh, hero ka dost, yar, hero ka papa, mama, kuch bhi, yeah. Then it is not fun, but I was also very fortunate in the Rishta Kya Khelata here that I played a mother, but I got all the good scenes. My daughter didn't get the good scenes because I was the one fighting. Ye mera param para hai, ye mera dharm hai, mujhe ye chahiye, ye chahiye, and I was the one who was fighting for these things. I had the fun scenes, the comedy scenes, the good scenes. She had good scenes. She had romantic scenes. Yeah, but so the meaty thing was uh, kept for the mom. Yeah. So I, so I mean, I, 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 it, it depends on the character. If it has value to it, then it doesn't matter what relationship you have with other characters. You know? Then that, yeah, that's that's just part of it, right? But if the character is all about the relationship, all about the relationship, then it becomes a little uh, uh, superficial. You're just a stand-in. You're just a stand-in. So it's like I remember a Ritik Roshan kites movie. They approached me to play Kangana's mom and Kabir Bedi's wife. And uh, it didn't work. You know, they called me, and uh, his dad wanted me, and they took my passport, and everything was going on. And then the director looked at me and said, "No, she's way too young. What are you thinking? No, oh, we can make her the stepmom. No, it's not working." And then I saw the movie, and it was one scene where she's just standing uh-huh. next to her little baby. So that didn't work at all. Hi, Aditi. Hi, Ayushi. Hi, everyone. Somebody whoever is here, nice whoever is still watching. Helen and Chanakya was incredible. Yo, <clears throat> we met while I was shooting Accidental Prime Minister in Delhi, uh, and I forced him to take a picture with me. I said, "This can't be. You can't go away and not have a picture with me." <laughs> <laughs> we were standing in the. We were staying at the Ashok Hotel, both of us. Okay. 
just imagining Helena and Chanakya staying at the Ashok in Delhi, <laughs> shooting different things. Hi, Ayushi. Namaste. Hi, Ayushi. Thanks, Shubhangi. That's nice. Thank you, Shubhangi. Thank you, Shubhangi. One so minute. basically what what you do in your one room now you get up and you order for breakfast or you so uh, can you actually do any can you do any yoga in that room or is it so small you can't even stretch no so there is there is this little space this space corridor area so i'm managing to do my meditation out here uh then i then i i tied up with this uh, trainer uh mine with whom i i do online training and i i do a little bit of core uh, core workout and stuff like that and we outside the room we have a long corridor which we have access to so in the evening i just do a light little cardio workout over there so i'm just keeping the interesting thing is I, i i read in the telegraph that the uk has extended the um quarantine period for people up to uh, they increase it to 10 days now you telling me you have to be in that room for 2 weeks yeah i don't know i don't know that that's what we've been told that for 14 days yeah okay fine can't argue with that and yeah. it's not a shayantra nutan sodia says please take my name nutan hi nutan hi Uh, oh, Mahendra what? always comes up with very interesting questions. Yeah, Mahendra is a long-term fan I'm of mine. Not, not He comes up that. with. <laughs> That's I'm not true. We rocked the floor at the colors party. We were dancing. <laughs> so that is our own genre only. I mean, there's no particular genre. <laughs> It's just like we, we're yeah. doing this. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Krishi. Bye. Ah, uh, Krishi is leaving. Okay. I really okay. enjoy this, so I think I should check in on you in a couple of days, and we can repeat this maybe next weekend. Sure, sure. Just to sure, see how sure. you're doing after a week. Done, done. Yeah. If anything course, happened not, or yeah. nothing happened. Sure. Yeah. Why not? Yeah, of course. Make sense. Okay. Oh, okay. great. So I will wrap this up. This is a good time right. to stop. We're already at uh, 37 minutes. All right. And lovely, right. lovely yeah? chatting up. Lovely okay. United from Pakistan. Lots of love. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Thanks for everybody for joining, and thanks so much for taking out the time it out of your pleasure. busy schedule. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know it is quite busy because one is uh, uh, I I had some other interview lined up, then I was doing my yoga, then I did my uh, the, the exercises and uh, figuring out what to eat, what not to eat. Uh, I've been trying to set up my Home dubbing studio out here. I did that. Acha, so, last last question. Can you open your window or not? Very very less. Very, It's not too much less. for the. But a little bit. Very little. Yes. Yeah. Little bit. Yeah. Thank God, because I live so much in hotels, and I hate it when it's completely closed and you can't get a little bit of hawa. Yeah. No, it is. It's not greatly ventilated, but there is a little bit of space so that gives you. Mm-hmm. I mean, it, it kind of it gives a better better feel rather than. slightly suffocating one okay so thanks for giving me the time this was fun i hope yeah, you enjoyed it too yeah. and catch up with you again yes take care bye to blasco say bye to akriti also take care yeah i will do that take bye. care bye bye